20 laps of distance, getting ready to kick off the Rocky Mountain Dwarf cars out of corner number four. Hanson to the early lead. Taylor now second. Fast Freddie Schneider into that third spot. Everybody will clear corners one and two. We'll work down the back straightaway. Looking to complete lap number one out of corner number four. Hanson, the 6C car. We'll lead lap number one here tonight for the Rocky Mountain Dwarf cars. On to the inside, there's Jesse Taylor up to the left rear tire of that 6C ride. And to the point, shoots out front. Driver out of Fort Morgan, Colorado. Jesse Taylor takes over the point. Out of corner number four, he'll lead lap number two for the Rocky Mountain Dwarf cars here tonight. Taylor, Hanson, Schneider, now a hunter to the outside in the 16 car. Battle for that third spot. Hunter dips it off the back straightaway, has to gather it back up. That'll allow Schneider to go back by for that third spot. Here comes your race leader, Jesse Taylor, down into corners one and two. Battle for second, Schneider has gone by Hanson for that second spot. Battle for fourth, William Taylor now, the fourth C car, slots himself up into the top five. Looking for more, digging for that third spot is Taylor. Jesse Taylor continues to lead, Schneider second. Now William Taylor scored third. Taylor puts the 707 car one lap down, battle for second as Schneider slid up the racetrack. Over in corners one and two, we'll see if William Taylor can make a charge toward fast Freddie Schneider for that second. Schneider sails off in the corners, one and two. Almost a full straightaway advantage now for Jesse Taylor. Your race leader puts the 23 car one lap down. And so here comes Taylor, your race leader. He'll sail off in the corners, one and two. Long ways back to Schneider. Schneider now enters your screen. And now feeling some pressure from William Taylor. That 4C car putting the pressure on fast, Freddie Schneider. Schneider holding on to that second spot. And again, Schneider to the outside. William Taylor down low. The gap has shrunk for that second spot. We'll see if William Taylor has anything for that zero car of Schneider. Taylor now catching the tail end of the lead lap. Heavy traffic in front of our race leader, Jesse Taylor. Taylor works to the outside. No harm, no foul with the four cars at the tail end of the lead lap. Now over a full straightaway advantage for Jesse Taylor. The field has strung out. Keith Welch will go to the corners. One and two battle for second. Now William Taylor down the back straightaway. The 4C car has caught that zero of Schneider. Taylor down low, they're at the tail end of the lead lap. Actually, there's a first cars, one lap down, side by side down the front straightaway. Taylor the inside, slides up, gets that spot from Schneider, put William Taylor now into spot number two. Taylor continues to lead, massive lead for your race leader, Jesse Taylor, puts your pull sitter, Showerman, one lap down. Taylor working the outside. Now go to the inside of Don Morrison. 10 laps down, 10 to go this time by for Jesse Taylor. William Taylor still in that second spot. He's got a long way to go to catch your race leader, Jesse Taylor. There's a couple Taylors showing the way here in the Rocky Mountain Dwarf Car feature event here at I-76 Speedway. Brad Bain has gone pit side in the three car. Early exit for Brad Bain. Keith Welch has gone by for that third spot. Welch now setting his sights on William Taylor. Quickly winding down, trouble down the back straight. We got a car sitting sideways. Caution flag is out as we got the 707 car.
We'll see if the hometown driver, Jesse Taylor, just down the road here in Fort Morgan, Colorado. He'll set the pace. He'll set us up high. And we'll work out a corner number four on the low side, back to the green flag. Keith Welch with a tremendous restart. Gets to the outside of William Taylor. Don't count out that 88 car. He goes by for that second spot. Here comes Keith Welch working that outside smoke now. From that 54-year race leader, Jesse Taylor. Seeing the smoke bellow out of that thing. And again, out of corner number four. Keith Welch to the inside. Keith Welch now to the race lead. The 88 car now showing the way. It's trouble for our race leader. You see that thing way under power now. As they work down into corners three and four. Jesse Taylor now hanging on for dear life in that 54 machine. Does not sound healthy as he comes down the front straightaway. Keith Welch now at the point, picking up the lead over in corners one and two. Trying to hold on to win a feature here for the Rocky Mountain Dwarf Cars at I-76 Speedway. Tough break for Jesse Taylor. Bellows a little more smoke every time he crosses that start finish line. Keith Welch, tremendous race for that 88 car. As he now shows away, extends that lead over Jesse Taylor as they exit out of corner number four. Caution flag is out. As John Pipe around in the corner three and four, the 05 car. Looking to finish off the Rocky Mountain Dwarf car feature out of corner number four. Check that, we're going 25 laps here tonight. Welch will lead out of corner number two. Taylor now second as they run down the back straightaway laps winding down for your race leader, Keith Welch. Five laps to go this time by. Welch, Taylor, battle for that third spot, the 99 car of Corey Garrison. Garrison has moved in the top three. Here comes Dave Massengale to the inside. Massengale to the inside. Once that's third spot, he's got it out of corner number two. Put Massengale just inside the top three. Currently running third. William Taylor running out of time to try to run down our race leader, Keith Welch. Welch leads us out of corner number two. Top two cars breaking away from the rest of the field and trouble over in corners one and two. Caution flag is out. It looks like the 22 of Leroy Dilk and I believe the 16 of Jerry Hunter. Check that, we'll restart lap 23. So not a green, white checkered handful of laps left here. Keith Welch will refire out of corner number four. Welch will lead us out of corner number two, down the back straightaway. William Taylor in tow, tow. Don't forget about Dave Massengale. Top three cars drive away from the rest of the field. Laps winding down here for the Rocky Mountain Dwarf Car feature here tonight. And Keith Welch out of corner number four. We'll grab the white flag one more time around. Here comes William Taylor. Not over yet. Taylor within striking distance. He'll work through corners one and two. Keith Welch will hold him off through the first set of corners. Down the back straighter for the final time. Final set of corners. William Taylor drives it in deep. Tries to get to that rear bumper. Ain't going to happen. Keith Welch will grab the checkered flag here tonight. And take home the trophy here for the Rocky Mountain Dwarf Cars here tonight. William Taylor second and rounding out your top three. David Massengale in the 23 ride.